everybody, my name is Megan and I go as Jewel Cheek on YouTube and I have been asked by the five awesome optimists to speak to you all on, on this great channel where there's an amazing group of people giving you optimistic things to listen to and watch every day of the week, which is very nice. Um, it is very, very nice to be amongst all this group of people and especially on Mother's Day or Mother's Day weekend anyway. So I have got a fabulous mother myself and I am a mother of two teenage children. I've got a son who's nearly uh, 17 and a daughter who's nearly 15. Yes, so we've got to remain optimistic, don't we? <laughs> okay, so what does being an optimist mean to me? Well, and what does it mean to you too? For me, it means looking at the good side of stuff. You know, stuff happens to everybody, but it's choosing to think that there's got to be something good that comes out of it. So whenever something bad happens, I always think, God, I wonder what it's going to be. And I kind of look for it. Okay, the other thing is on YouTube, I'm involved with a group called the 100 Day Challenge, which is really what got me involved in YouTube. And it's all about setting goals for 100 days. And it's this really awesome community where we've all interacted. And I have probably met about 40 of those people as I've traveled and formed really great lifelong friendships with some of these people. And everyone's from different social backgrounds. Everyone's uh, completely different, different countries, different, different everything. But you know what? We're all like-minded and it's so awesome to meet people who are into that whole positive thinking and law of attraction type of way of life. So... It's not that everything I do, you know, every goal I set comes true, um, although most of them do, I have to say. What I do is I put things out there and I go, gosh, I'd like to do that or I'd like to be doing this, and then I let it go. And then when it happens, what you do is you grab it and you go, oh, my God, that happened. How fantastic. And you celebrate the stuff that does happen. Sometimes you just have to let it go. Some of those things aren't meant to happen, um, and sometimes they do. So... What you do is you rejoice in the stuff that is there and all the good stuff you've got. It's like, you know, when people say, oh, write down five things you're grateful for. It's the same thing exactly. So what is everyone doing for Mother's Day weekend? I have got a daughter who is away on camp on, on this thing for a whole school term. So I know she's used her pocket money and bought me a present. So I'm looking forward to receiving that. And my son is playing tennis. Yes. So uh, I think we are going out for a special Mother's Day lunch, my husband and I. <laughs> Can you believe it? Well, that's what happens when they get to be teenagers, isn't it? So that will be lovely. And it's a beautiful sunny day here. It's, it's starting to cool down a little bit in Australia, but all still sunny and lovely. So have a beautiful Mother's Day. Make sure you call your mother or someone that you consider a mother-like figure to you. Or you know what? If you haven't got that in your life, just let someone know that you love them. Let them know how you feel about them on Mother's Day. Bye, everyone. Thanks for having me on the channel. And usually I comment to everyone's comments. This is Mr. H's channel, so I won't be able to do that. But drop by my channel and say hi. or um, and, and subscribe if you want to. Okay. Have a happy weekend, everyone. Bye.